Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 47 of our Shia Tribe campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finished our war with Abyssinia, took the Duchy of Shevo from them and also we passed a new law in here. So, Grand Center Titles has now been controlled by the ruler, not by the council. So that's great. Now this jerk's not gonna be a problem in this uh, question. But we still, yeah, I would probably, I should probably be trying to pass all of these laws to be controlled by me because the council is just a bunch of jerks. And what else? We're up to 18 uh, trade, uh, trade posts, that's great. And I think the next thing I'm gonna be doing is attacking us up because they're now independent and only have 1000 troops. We also started building retinues. Talking about retinues, we picked up quite a lot of uh, retinue cap. Probably because of these two provinces, even though I don't know why it would give me so much. So, I was gonna actually build another one cavalry stack. They're reinforcing really slowly, even though the reinforcement rate is at full speed. But yeah, 2.5% is not that much. Uh, let's actually get our retinues out of the way. Just so we're not gonna be using for this war for now. And yeah, let's get this advancement troops to move uh, somewhere on Sana'a. And then we're gonna just attack uh, Asap. After Asap, we probably could attack Shirazid. So where did Holy War ended? Cool. Uh, Shirazid Holy War for Afar. Oh, so now you're trying to take it back. He only managed, uh, he only like conquered it a year ago, and now that Abyssinia is falling apart, you're trying to take it back. Sure, why not? Probably gonna be taking Shirazid next. And when we're gonna have thousand piety, I would try to take Abyssinia using the. Uh, invasion CB or whatever it's called. Yeah, Invasion of Abyssinia. He's not of the through fate, which all the cons that we need to invade him. Our truce expires in 10 years. And now we're gonna be able to get... Uh, actually, yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to get Piety in 10 years, and he probably not gonna be able to live so long. He's actually already in Ferment 50, so he's probably gonna die relatively soon. Uh, also, what are you defending against right now? Whole War for Gondor? Okay, someone's trying to take this, and whole war for Afar. We still have, gonna have plenty of lands after we're gonna lose this war, and you're probably gonna lose it, if I were to guess. You go focus on, like, stewardship. And are we ready to declare war? I think we should be. So we have 1,000 troops, you have quite a few parts, but no one really uh, who actually matters. What's your religion? You're Sunni. Yeah, so we're just gonna be declaring a conquest war. Our chance or our council not being jerks for now. And I think I'm just gonna use my personal troops because Vasa's already a little bit upset about me using all of these troops. Should I be using the right news? Why not? They're gonna be reinforcing anyways. Oh, 300 freaking uh, taxation. That's a lot. Uh, and they also, there's certain upgrade of our trade post. Uh, to a major Silk Road city. And it's gonna provide us with some extra Keshola, with some extra trade power, so it's gonna be quite nice. Okay, one of our sons became tough soldier. Not the best education, but that's something. Uh, and yeah, I think it's fine if you're gonna be using the news right now, because they're reinforcing anyway, so whatever. Whatever. So, we started constructing trade posts in Tajura, because apparently our vassals managed to lose trade posts in here somehow. Oh, who's built it in here? All of it, okay. And yeah, we already claimed all of this cost, so I'm not even sure where we're gonna be expanding next. Actually, Asap is still free, like Masawa, all of this. Other cost, if my vassal's not gonna be building there, I'm gonna be taking these places. 15% chance of me becoming diligent, sure. And of course it didn't work out. Oh well, how's our university looking? It's almost finished. So soon we're gonna be getting uh, a little bit more Technology points, which is kind of nice. Even though we're quite ahead of time uh, on trade practices, but still, it's probably worth spending on. Oh, I have a bastard from my daughter. Why do I need to educate him? I don't know. Focus on pride, I guess. You're gonna be a prideful bastard. Okay, 7,800 troops. Looks like it's everyone. Let's go and destroy your army and then siege down your capital. Should be relatively easy. Look at how many freaking wars we're getting called into. The Bench and Hollow War for Azerbaijan. Who is 
our uh, allies still. Kazarian, Baluchistan only. And we already have six freaking wars. Or five, and only one is ours. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Oh well. But yes, I'm not letting me to be at peace even for one... For, for one or two months, just to be able to like convert some of my people or press any events. Also, why the heck we lost 500 troops in here? We had 8,000 and now we're down to 79. Even the supply limit was fine. That's weird. Okay, 800 ducats. Do we need any extra upgrades in our personal, personal place? Yes, we definitely do. Galleys, no. Monthly prestige, no. Fertility, maybe. Tax income plus 4. Let's get some fertility, why not? More children means more trade posts, and more trade posts means more more wealth, and wealth is actually the, our, our ultimate goal. Your Marshal has put forward a plan for experimentation with a new military technology inspired by Spot's spotlight brilliant inventor, and engineer has recently befriended. He needs funding. Sure, I have tons of money. And all of our leaders are ready. On charge, right, right. 9th of July, 4th of July. Okay, I'm gonna be just following you. Mm, close, please. 27th, 13th. Okay, so we're gonna capture you in Masawa. Or catch you in Masawa, then siege down Asap. It's gonna be easiest war in the history. Okay, one of the sons became a diplomat. Not that it matters at all. Uh, a plot where someone is trying to kill Galib in Nasser. Nasser is... I don't know. Is it like one of my children? Yeah, someone's trying to kill my heir. That better stop. Have you sent your request already? And... Oh, yeah, you're my vassal. Don't you say you're actually not... Uh, you declined to stop the plot. Do I have other stop plots? I do. And why is there no even button? To try to send it is because it already got automatically sent. Not sure. And no. Um, no. You're gonna be learning by yourself. So. From this one battle we picked up 75% war score. So we just need one siege to be done. And then the war gonna be ended. Young Arif has finished education. So one of my nephews became theologian. Cool. How is Abyssinia doing? Oh yeah. And the... No, never mind. Actually, I thought the king of Abyssinia changed, but I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. Screaming arrows. Uh, you receive a report of the outcome of the military experiment that your marshal asked you to sponsor. Apparently, a new kind of self-propelled arrows was tried out based on Far Eastern models. That by far, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact. Killing several of the livestock used as practice targets. Thought of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather, this experiment will have still provided some valuable lessons. Okay, military points, I guess it's useful. Should be spending some more on our military organization for for the rating you cap. After years of planning, this guy decided to press his claim on something. On what? Not on the sub. Go away. It's actually my province. Uh, yeah, okay, you could try to engage me, but you're just gonna uh, conquer a sub and your war probably gonna end inconclusively. Or we might inherit it, I'm not sure actually what's gonna happen. Maktab school has been finished in uh, my capital, that's great. We couldn't upgrade it, we could get a port or city fortifications. Sure, let's get a port, some extra tax income. And what else? Major silk, uh, oh, this thing also got finished. A trade post one. Great, we have max upgrades in these trade posts. Okay, how's our income looking now? 77. I don't know. I don't know if we're getting that much. But we're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Abyssinia. How are your wars looking? Gondor. 17% in Bahri Emirate. 46% the Hunter. Uh, who is the Hunter? You're the Hunter. So actually winning the war against Barbera somehow. Okay. Doesn't really matter for me. I'm gonna take you all anyways, so... That's even matters who is going to be controlled by. Nasser today announced his marriage to a woman. Wow, that's great. Why do I even care? Oh, you married an imbecile. She might be very pretty if you decided to to have such a choice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what else we could do in here? Not much, really. And our part is not really that high. Yeah, I really want to have... Uh, actually, after this war gonna end, I would try to probably... Uh, get some some peace time and maybe observe Ramadan. I have a feeling uh, Ramadan's supposed to give us some piety. Hopefully get us closer to 1000. Your nation hard work has paid off suddenly with the chic. You have learned several languages. Great. I'm already learning these languages for a freaking 10 years. Okay. 100% war score. Let's see what's gonna happen with this host war. It's... Oh! Okay, so the army is still... Oh, never mind. It's disappeared. But for a second I just didn't know what to do. So you just became my vassal. Oh, that's not exactly perfect. I would prefer to have some of my people in here, but that's fine too. Uh, how's our trade post limit? What? We picked up three extra trade post limit. How? Oh yeah, quite a few of our children became 16. Okay, let's build one in a sub then. And then one in Masawa. 176 and in here 260. Yeah, one in a sub, one in Masawa. And we don't have enough money for another one, I don't think. Trinicat, yeah, 200 ducats. Okay, let's wait a couple extra months. You're so damn rich, 21 trade posts. And our vassal's not building anything. And also the funniest part is, looks like these two guys are actually landlocked. Yes, don't even have any holdings. Just have their house, and that's it. So looks like I've bugged out the game by becoming a Republican here. So these guys, they're not even allowed to build anything, looks like. Because of reasons. Oh, that's funny. I practically have no... Uh, like, no enemies to fight with. For trade power, which is quite... Quite, uh, quite fun. Okay, let's stand down our troops. Our retinue is still in here. How's our cap looking? Still not quite enough to build a second stack, but it's fine too. Okay, your conquest finished. Okay, uh, only one war left, and then we're gonna be at peace. And maybe... Gonna be able to absorb Ramadan. Unfortunately, we couldn't absorb Abyssinia this way. Because it's his primary title, so... We either would need to, like, completely eat him one by one. Or use the CB I've been talking about. The invasion one. We would need to have 1000 piety, and our truce is gonna expire in 8 years. Yeah, I highly doubt he's gonna be able to live eight extra years, so the truth's probably gonna expire uh, a little bit sooner when he's gonna die. So, I think from now on we're just gonna try to wait a little bit. My granddaughter needs a focus. Go be a priest. And you... We need a new commander. Not my heir, no. And want him to die. It would be really unfortunate. We could... Usurp some emirates, but we're not gonna do this. Now we probably have enough money to build a trade post in here. We have. Uh... Oh, I couldn't adopt martial ideas. And I couldn't end pause because... Okay, I guess we're gonna go in debt for a month. I don't think it's gonna be too terrible. Because our, in our income is so damn great. A daughter was born to my nephew. Good job. Spread our dynasty. That's what we need. We have 28 living members. It's actually... Less than I expected. And one of the others needs education again. Affectionate, willful, fuzzy. Fuzzy, affectionate. You're all over the place. Go become intrigue focused, I guess. Mm -hmm. And also, when we're gonna have peace. Uh, never mind. We're not gonna have peace time. I should just break alliance with this Kazarian guy. He's constantly at wars and constantly calling me in. Which is really annoying. Yeah, if I had some peace time, I would have chance to start converting people one way or another. Also, how's our priest doing? He's trying to convert stuff, but not really succeeding. Uh, and also, is it still reasonable to try to steal technology in Constantinople? We have 16, 19, 17. Yeah, they still have more technologies than I do. But because we have such a terrible spy master, he's not even succeeding. Actually, 13.5 chance yearly. It's not even that low. I'm surprised didn't fire it even once. So, how is the king in here? Still alive. It's really surprising, considering that you're in form. Actually, in form only gives you minus one health. Okay. 
Uh, does this give you extra health? Gray Eminence? No, it's not. What about Hunter? Also not. So you don't have any bonuses for your HP. Actually, what is Foxing? Shrewd. Okay. So you don't have any bonuses for your health. You just have negatives. Just once a day, Skulking, uh, I blah blah blah. I caught these guys. Scandalous. The flesh is weak. Forgiven. Yeah, forgive them. Don't care about my courtiers. Fucking with each other. My daughter and some revolt here guy in here. Abbasid revolt. Do you even have any lands? Abbasid revolt? Oh, this guy down here. Nah, I don't want to be enemies with Abbasids. <laughs> it wouldn't be a terrible idea. A son was born to my heir. Finally. I think it's his first son. Yeah, it is. And of course, half of the daughters are like geniuses and the son is not. And he's also ill. Who's his mother? The quick one. And you him yourself genius and strong. And son didn't inherit anything. Oh well, doesn't really matter because we're actually allowed to choose uh, which son is going to be our heir. So as long as you're going to have at least one genius or a strong one, it's going to be good enough. Okay, we improved relations with Tulunits once. And actually managed to create some uh, s uh, daughters while I've been away. What about betrothal to this guy again? Uh, age is nice, opinion is nice, skills is nice. So the only thing is stopping us is probably your opinion. If you were to have like 100%, uh, 100 opinion with you, it's probably gonna be enough for you to accept. Okay, my daughter became elusive shadow, that's nice. And you could become patient or diligent. Diligent is nice. Yeah, look at these stats. Are you going to be willing to marry this one? Because she's pretty awesome. I wouldn't even mind marrying her myself. Uh, so. This one. Oh, now you are. Yeah. This girl is definitely great. Okay, let's go and marry her off. That's why you want to have like geniuses and all these other girls. That's so damn great. Everyone wants to marry them. So, now we have non-aggression pact with you, right? We do. What about an alliance? Also, uh, accepting. Okay, great. So, now we're safe from Tulunits. Temporarily. And maybe at some point we're actually gonna be strong enough to kick Tulunits' butts, but not quite yet. Actually, if we were to hire all the mercenaries in the world, is it gonna be, is it gonna be enough? There's a mercenary band that costs 6,000. Actually, look at this bullshit. I've noticed that at some point, monthly cost for these guys is 62, and they're under contract for Tulunits. And look how much Tulunits spending. Their monthly expense is only 18. And this includes in everything, uh, not even, or not only mercenaries. Why the fuck? Why is in here it's 62, but Tulunits spends in like 5 or 10 ducats per month on them? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, actually, maybe there's like some special event or something, but it's still bullshit. If he's paying like 10 ducats instead of 60 ducats, it's definitely cheating. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could use up some touches. We don't really need it right now. Who else could we attack in here? Or do we need to attack anyone right now? Yeah, we couldn't really go... We couldn't really get peace. Because this Kazarian guy... It's really kind of annoying. Mm. Or could we? Or couldn't we? Or could we? We couldn't declare any Hollow Wars. Or we could declare a Hollow War on Shirazid, but it's kind of dangerous. Because there's a lot of... Uh... Oh, we're not allow even allowed to declare a Hollow War on you? Why so? Uh, not this one. This is the city conquest. Huh. I think we were able to declare Hollow Wars on Shias, or as soon as. For some reason, not anymore. About you? Ah, huh, okay, that's weird. I'm pretty sure I've been declaring Hollow Wars on Shias, or, or on Sunis, the ones who's been around here. But maybe it's not uh, not available right now. Okay, we finished our wine cellar in our personal mansion, and we have another one trade post limit. My goodness. I'm actually now uh, having problems with money uh, to build all of these trade posts. But we have now all of the shore, except this one province. 
Oh, and this guy actually managed to build a trade post somewhere else. Not entirely sure where, but hopefully not anywhere close to me. But actually, it's always time for me to go break, guys. So, I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna consider what we're gonna do in the next episode. I still want to try to get some peacetime and do the peacetime stuff. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could have a like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer this in the good. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.